We're going to be going over a deep analytical dive on a Section 8 property in one of the turnkey markets in America. Denny, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and I'm working with my man, Denny. He's a blue-collar motherfucker. We're doing episode 206. This is uh, the third show I've done for you, Denny. A little bit about you, brother. I love your story. Uh, you're just, I, I, you're like, what I really like working with and like your story just makes me very happy, dude. You are a mailman, you own a bar, and you're investing in real estate. You are a blue collar cat, dude. Don't get me wrong, y'all. All you rich dogs out there, I love you guys. Keep <laughs> buying the products. Keep spending millions of dollars on real estate here in Cleveland. We love that here at Holton Wise TV. But I got a special place in my heart uh, for the blue-collar dudes, right? I'm a blue-collar dude. My dad's a truck driver. My grandpa's a truck driver. And I think a lot of people think that you have to be this rich guy or have this crazy, you know, rich pedigree to be a real estate investor. But that's not the case. And, uh, you know, I'm living proof of that, right? When I bought my first property, I was 21 and I was managing a Radio Shack, right? I mean, Radio Shack, you don't see none of those anymore. And, uh, you know, money wasn't that great, right? I was making like $30,000 a year on salary with like, uh, I think the minimum hour requirement was like 55 hours. So not a lot of money, right? But, I, you know, I scratched and clawed my way up the ladder with real estate and this is what denny's doing right you know i did it too working multiple jobs at the same time so that that's what you're doing denny that's why i like you so much man i mean you're working hard during the day the money you've saved from that job you've invested in other businesses now you're reinvesting that and, and you're working your way up dude i love it and what me and you have done so far right the last couple properties uh i hit the nail on the head with exactly what you wanted but the issue is it's what other people wanted too right when we do these deals right i'm trying to find you uh rental properties in the c-class neighborhoods that make solid money right everybody loves money though right so what we ran into is you ended up in a bidding war on both properties and both properties were purchased by other buyers okay that's gonna happen i don't want you to get discouraged brother now they say that like you got to do a hundred offers on a house before you get a deal. I don't necessarily know that that's true. I don't think we're going to need to do anywhere near a hundred, but it is a numbers game, right? When we're trying to buy properties at price points that make them very viable, uh, you know, financial tools, financial vehicles, financial investments, there's going to be other people interested. So what? we've experienced thus far with being outbid and bidding wars two out of two times is that we are on the right track and we are aiming for the right properties and this one i'm hoping because of a few things with the listing i'm hoping that this one uh, will have a little bit less competition and i'm going to try to walk you through some of those unknowns right now 509 lake avenue illyria 44035 just listed two weeks ago okay 59 g's now we're not going to try to lowball these folks because I think that's a pretty solid uh, list price. We're going to try to get a little bit of a discount. We're going to try to pick this thing up at 55000 right? Nothing like too crazy, not trying to lowball them. Now, the reason I think we might be able to pick it up for a little bit less than list price, and I think we're going to be able to uh, you know, do this deal without as much intense competition is a couple things, right? The first one is it's an occupied rental, okay? And with it being an occupied rental, this occupied rental has very limited information from the listing agent. Cat out of uh, Sandstone Realty, okay? This is all I have for you as far as photographs go, okay? Just one angle of the front yard, another angle of the front yard. They are not allowing buyers to do showings, which, you know, you know as a fan of the show, that's not a big deal. It's a red flag to other people who are not necessarily uh, used to working, 
with rental property uh, investors and agents, right? The majority of agents out there, 99.9% .9 of them, okay? They work real estate in a traditional fashion, right? They think like, okay, I get a client, I drive my client to the house, I show my client the house, my client looks at the house, and my client goes, I like this house or I don't. If they do, we try to buy it, right? It's not how it works in the rental game, right? You, you know, we're, we're buying these as financial investments, as, as you know, monetary sources of income okay and there's other people living there and tenants they don't like to be bothered uh you know by buyers you can't just have a million looky loos going inside the homes it, do it doesn't make sense and then you you couple that with the fact that we're dealing with fucking covid right now i mean jesus christ dude so what that does it turns off a lot of those buyers who might not know all this and might not know that that's kind of normal. And it turns off uh, those agents that are working with buyers who don't normally uh, work with rentals and they might think, oh, they might advise their client, oh, that might be a red flag. They must be trying to hide something. That's not how it goes. Now, the listing agent that's listing this, I know that company. I'm familiar with that company. I've done work with that company. They're a property manager, okay? They're actively managing this rental. So anybody who's in it, who's like actually in it doing rentals all day every day that's just standard operating procedure right holton wise you know it's it's crazy right with covid and all this like everybody's trying to go to this virtual uh like business model right well holton wise we've been on a virtual business model for years now right i'm not trying to say like i i predicted that this would happen but we've been working on a full virtual uh, selling process for you guys for years, mostly because our buyer base isn't local here in Cleveland. Most of it is uh, worldwide. Uh, but coincidentally, Denny, my dog, you are local. You're a local mailman. Your bar is local. But the majority of folks are not, right? There's more money outside of Ohio than there is in Ohio. So we're very well versed in the, the digital aspect. So not being able to see the property, that's totally normal for us. So I know that I don't think they're trying to hide anything. And even if there was something they were trying to hide, which, again, I don't think is the scenario, we're going to do the proper due diligence, right? So we have that going for us. And then the other thing is no photos, okay? No photos. On top of the no showings, it's going to turn some of those buyers off, some of those agents off. We got no showings, right? Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. They didn't provide, a, or I mean, no pictures rather. They didn't provide us any pictures. Like a lot of these people, they want to see what they're getting. Not that big of a deal, right? Because here's what we have, bro. We're not, we're not buying the color of the carpet in this some bitch, right? We're buying the rent, okay? And what we have on the chart here, you see four bed, two bathroom home, rent nine sixty seven a month, eleven thousand six hundred four a year. Now, truth be told, I made a slight adjustment to that, okay? What we actually have is a rental rate of eight sixty seven a month on Section Eight. I added in a hundred dollars. Up to 967 though, okay? Reason being, right? If you go to HoltonWise.com, you click our FAC. All right, as soon as it loads. And you go to the property management FAC, okay? Now, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom here. Right here is this whole thing that I've got set up. I've addressed this, right? That's uh, It's lagging a little bit. There we go. There it is. All right. <clears throat> we got a little technical difficulty, but we're good now, right? This whole thing right here, this is our fact in relation to the water sewer bill. Read this, and I want to burn a bunch of time in the show right now, but Holton Wise is a property manager. We do not allow the tenants to pay the water and sewer bill because of the way the Cleveland Division of water works and because of the way um, that the taxes and you as an owner's responsibility of the property. Essentially, the way it works is uh, the water bill will run with the land. So even if your tenant's responsible, um, what's going to happen is the water bill, the water company, they're still going to come after you. They will put a lien on your house, et cetera, et cetera. So because of that, we need to make sure that's getting paid. And it also has to do with like how evictions are done too and partial rents and things of that nature. So again, as you can see, there's a lot of verbiage here. Check all that out. But some property managers, they will just direct bill the tenant. 
Not the smartest play. We've got thousands of attempts. We've done this many times. This is the most effective way. So I added in $100. Typically, we could probably get the tenant to pay a hundred dollars uh, more, and then on average, it yeah, I put seventy five. It could cost more, right? So you you might come out a little bit, you know, to the north. You might come out a little bit to the south. Every month's gonna be a little bit different, right? Like the bills might be like fifty or sixty bucks a month in the winter. In the summer, they might be well over a hundred, depending on how people. Uh, are actually using it you know that usage can go up down it's tough it's hard to put an exact amount every family's going to be different so 75 is like about average and i think we could probably get the tenants to agree to an increased rent of 100 bucks knowing that they won't have to pay that water bill because again it should be fluctuating right so that's where i got the 967 these are all of our other estimated costs repairs maintenance vacancy capex right now let's talk about the capex right because i don't have much to go off of on this property right all i have here is the two outside photos. And like I said, I think that's good, man, because that's going to make other people think that there's something going on and they don't like the fact that they don't have that information. But look, we already have a tenant in there, right? As far as what it looks like, it doesn't really matter, dude, because like there's no scenario where you're going to buy this home with the Section 8 tenant in there. And then when that tenant moves out, we don't have to do a turnover renovation, right? That That's going to happen every time. We know it's good enough to pass Section 8 standards right now, and that's all we really need at the moment. So on our chart... I have factored in 48 bucks, right? You're not actually spending 48 bucks on repairs most likely every month right now. That's going into your pocket because we know eventually this tenant's going to move out. We're going to get a turnover, right? Vacancy and not payment of rent. These are government guaranteed tenants. Very unlikely we're evicting somebody who's got their rent paid for by the government, right? But that's part of the business, so we're going to factor in 48 for that. These are, you know, both of these things, right? They go to your bank account every month. You have this money but i know that there's going to be big costs down the road so i want you to save up for them right and then here's the other thing capex right we don't have a lot of information i've been doing this a very very long time though so I, i'm pretty much going to break it down for you if there was a new roof a new furnace or a new hot water tank you bet your ass they would be marketing that they'd be talking about that instead they haven't said anything about that so i would assume Going into this, it's built into the cake, okay? Baked right into that cake. That's why it's listed what it's listed. That's why I'm trying to get you to pick it up for 55. I'm going to assume our roof mid to end of life. Roofs last approximately 30 years. Roof on a house like this is a big house, probably about a six, $7,000 roof. Furnace, they last 30 years. No reason to believe we got a new furnace. Mid to end of life, I would assume. They cost about three Gs to replace whenever you do need to replace them. Hot water tank, 15 years, cost about a G. We have absolutely no reason to believe any of those are new. We're going to do more due diligence, of course. We're going to make this offer contingent on a home inspection. But I bet you that our inspector is going to say, furnace past its usable life, recommend uh, checking with an HVAC tech or replacing. Don't mean you got to replace it now. If it works, that's great. Let it work until it goes down. When it goes down, then you got to replace it. And that's why back to the chart, I've got $48 accounted for on our capital expenditure, right? So we know all that stuff's coming, right? So this is why I love this deal. A lot of unknowns for a lot of buyers that don't know the business, know what's happening. But in reality, I just kind of laid out for you exactly how it's probably going to go. And it's not that big a deal because we built that into our offer, right? So of that 967 coming in, an average of 476 is going to go out. I'm sorry, an average of 499 is going to 499, 491. Ugh, I couldn't get that out. 491 is going to go out, leaving you with 476 or an average of 57 for the year. You, my man, are financing. I know you're pre-approved for 75K. So we get this sucker at 55, which is where I want it to be. You only need to put down 13,750. Bank's going to give you the other 41 Gs. That should result in a 26.4% cash on cash return. Nice, solid C-class deal, man. I think it's perfect. I think it'll work for you. It's even under your budget, which is great because you could save up that money, continue to save. And then if something ever does happen with this tenant, the other thing is, too, this is actually a four bedroom home, two bathroom home. Uh, so as far as uh, the vouchers go, dude, 
we can get some pretty hefty vouchers. I actually think they missed the mark on this tenant, right? You know, essentially a net rent of 967 for a house this big. Because here's the thing. Section 8, it's obviously a little confusing. And if you go back to this fact, if we go up to the top... All right, and this fact is great, guys. Every Everything we do here at Holton Wise, we're all about transparency. We put it out there for you. Like I told you guys about no showings. Uh, this right here explains how we sell properties when we sell them, right? The no showing thing, that's very common, okay? Uh, but what I'm trying to get to for you guys right now is up at the top. Okay, way at the top of the page, our Section 8 fact. I have an entire page dedicated to how the Section 8 program works. Not a lot of property managers want to work with Section 8 properties. It's a lot of extra legwork. But the what I'm really trying to get to you is on a four-bedroom, two-bathroom uh, two home, 967 is honestly lower. They, they base a lot of how much they pay. They're going to base it on the zip code, but more so they base it on the bed count, the bath count, and the square footage. This is a big old home. So in a nutshell, Denny, eventually I don't see it being a problem being able to get your rent up to like 1150 And then that, of course, is going to make the returns go way, way up. So for all those reasons, bro... I thought this deal would work out good for you, and I think our buyer pool is going to be a little smaller, so I think we got a pretty decent shot of locking this one up for you. We'll then put a contingent on uh, your uh, inspector's third-party home inspection, and if he notices anything outside of what we talked about, like if he goes in there and there's a foundation issue, well, that's going to be cause for concern, and we're going to you know, reevaluate. But as of right now, I, I think everything makes sense. So reply to this private link. Let us know if you'd like us to write up the offer. If for whatever reason you do not want us to write up the offer, just let me know so on your next video I can shift gears, get you something more appropriate. Everybody else, if you like today's show and you're like, damn, dude, that's, you know, I like it. It's candid. It's transparent. Makes sense. I want to work with these folks. Go to HoltonWise.com. Click the Property Search for Sale tab. Click the MLS Search Analysis Show. Order yourself a package. I recommend the bigger packages, multi-property packages like Denny did. Because as you can tell from what I've been talking with Denny, just because you you know want me to look at one property doesn't mean that deal's going to go through. It's a numbers game. We have to analyze a lot of deals, put out a lot of offers, right? Because there's a lot of competition for these properties. We're in literally one of the most popular turnkey rental investment markets in the entire world, right? Investors flocking from everywhere. So we got to do a lot of work. It's not that easy. Cleveland's great, but there's not just like equity, on trees right guys so we got to do some work and that's uh that's what i'm here for that's what the multi-pack is for and then lastly if you're you know just trying to learn trying to get into the business you know just trying to figure things out not ready to buy it that's totally cool do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because holton wise tv is real estate investing made easy This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Feal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year. 
you get unlimited free access to our U.S.-based support team by phone, email, and chat, who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. G'day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.